Ooh, all right, hello Pisces. So <clears throat> let's see what messages Spirit has for you before the beginning of September. What messages do we have for Pisces? Right off the bat, this is a cycle that has not fully completed. Like, you're not fully done with a person, or they're not fully done with you. But I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing, like, you feeling, like, really betrayed and hurt over a situation like you've really been like emotionally drained um and like you're in the process I want to say of healing but you're kind of like even before that like because the person that you dealt with here in the recent past or you still are dealing with because I'm getting that some of you guys are not single, like you're in the process of leaving a situation. But I'm getting like this person, like when you guys first met, like you had so much chemistry with this person. Like they were so charming and like you could talk to them about anything. You felt so comfortable with this person. But the issue is that this person, like, um, in order to feel good about themselves, like, they need constant attention. Like, they need, um, they need to spread their love everywhere, basically. But they didn't want you to be single. And they, like, this has left you feeling, like, emotionally unfulfilled. Like, you were expecting this person to be your happily ever after. And now, it's like, secrets are coming to the surface. You're realizing things about this person. And it's devastating to you because this was the one you wanted to be with. Like because when you guys first met like they made you feel like nobody has ever made you feel before and I'm seeing like you were just swept away by this person like before you even knew it you weren't even in control of your own life anymore like you were just this love was everything to you like this love took charge of your life and only to make you an emotional wreck basically you feel like you've made sacrifices that you shouldn't have made sacrifices that were detriment detriment <laughs> Ooh, detrimental I can't even say it detrimental to you and it just really has you like torn up like I'm seeing you being like really hard on yourself too like regarding this and not acknowledging the strength that you have like you're the type of person like you're so alluring but you have this fine strength about you that's so charming but this person was only 
thing, they were the only one that you wanted to invest in. Yet, the only reason why they couldn't just invest in you, but they wanted to keep you from, they don't want to see you with anyone else. This person, I mean, they're selfish. Like, this relationship started off with so much potential only to let you down in the long run and if you were to continue to entertain it then it will continue to drive you off course of the purpose that you have in your life like they if you're entertaining this person like it's going to continue to just drive you each and every way like you have no control and it's because like they make you an emotional wreck and but something that you don't see coming is I'm getting like I'm getting like your twin flame I, I don't like to use that word but Cause I'd rather use like soulmates. I don't like, I'm getting like a love offer coming in and the love offer that sh is coming in, it's like initially when you guys meet, you won't be on the same page. But this love has so much potential. And it's just because you have your eyes closed to everything else, like you're too focused on what has emotionally drained you? It's like, like this relationship has postponed so many things that you have planned. It's like put so much on halt. Like things that you wanted to achieve, it's like they were put on the back burner. Like you. Now you're kind of like in this stagnant energy. And I'm getting this love offer coming in, in the process of you still being in this like stagnant energy. And that's why you guys won't be on the same page because you still have some healing to do. But I'm getting like this cycle will come to a close. And when it does, you'll find yourself celebrating in a new love. <clears throat> what other messages do we have for compromise yeah because when this new person comes in if you believe yeah don't stop. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that thing. Yes. So this is the new love. This is not that old love. Although like that cycle hasn't come to a completion yet. Don't stop believing. And the thing is, is that like you are gonna kind of embrace this ice cold energy to a degree and it's like where it's you don't want to invest in love like you're just really moping over this past heartbreak and this disappointment and the thing is like this person is going to come in and like they're going to balance like this is going to be a very balanced balanced relationship but it's like I get you in a uh, mind frame where it's like you're telling yourself you don't believe in love anymore like you don't believe and like spirit is saying get out of that mindset get out of like this it's okay to cry and to you know feel the pain but 
it's not okay to just allow yourself to drown in it. Yes. Because you definitely have a love coming in. I'm getting some of you guys, this is someone that you already know. This is someone in your inner circle. You already know this person for some of you. And some of you guys, it's going to be a completely new love. Yeah, I'm definitely getting for a couple of you. Like, this is somebody that you already know. And they, like, they look at this person that you already know. Like, they've had their eye on you for a while. As though, um, I'm getting, like, looking at your social media. Like, they think you're so attractive. They really love you. And, like, when this relationship comes in... Like this person will offer you the security, the stability that you've been longing for. And this will be a relationship that lasts as long as you learn to compromise. That is give and take. You can't allow a past trauma to dictate the way a new relationship, the way you are going to interact in a new relationship. Because this person is going to come in. They're going to take a chance. And they're going to express their love for you. They're going to let you know that they've been thinking about you for some time. Yeah. Right now, I just saw a fake. Right now, the timing isn't right because you need to, like, get yourself um, together. Like, you need time to heal from this past relationship. Oh, my God. Some of you guys, um, another thing that I'm getting, some of you guys um, could be in the process, process of separating, like, in the divorce as well. And there are children involved. But this person is like, as you guys um, like go your separate ways, like, and you spend time apart, this person is gonna be like, wait, don't leave. No, no, I like, it's, it's, they're gonna beg you not to, and they're going to express like their love because I'm getting like the reason why you're feeling like you need to leave this person is because they don't express their love to you and it makes you feel like unloved basically and you're like I can't do it no more like I want somebody who's gonna tell me how much they cherish me and then for the other message that I'm getting is that the person you like if you know this person, you guys aren't, like, living within distance of each other. Like, it's a distance between you guys. And I'm um, seeing, like, you leaving and this person, like, chasing after you. And they're going to, like, pour out. They're going to pour their heart out to you and tell you how much they love you and this relationship is is going to lead to marriage as a sacred union and this is the new relationship so you guys got don't stop believing so this is what I have for you, Pisces. Please like, share, and subscribe and come back to my channel. I definitely appreciate all of the love and support. Thank you so much.